Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Again, I have my granddaughter Liberty with me. Say hello. Hi. And today we're going to be doing a look on Liberty's face for a birthday party. So we're gonna keep it simple, but we're gonna make her, um, just make her eyes pop. I wanna make her eyes pop and give her a little bit of lip color and send her on her way to her birthday party. How does that sound, Liberty? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we threw her hair up like Nana's. Yes, so we both have our hair put up so it won't get in our way. So first we're going to be applying the Smashbox um, face primer. This is the photo finish for color correcting. So this is my everyday go-to primer. And I'm just gonna do a little bit around her nose area and on her cheeks because that's where she gets red. And she had said that she didn't like it to look red. So we're just going to do this for the redness, not necessarily um, for pores or anything because she ain't got no pores. Her skin is perfect other than being a little red. So we're just gonna apply that and work it in. Okay, turn your head that way, baby. My nails. My nails are too long. I think I did them too long this time. Oh well, it's for Valentine's Day. I want to look glamorous. Okay, so there you go. How's that look? That's better. Okay, so now we're going to do your eyes. Let's start off with a primer. Um, I told my Nana that I don't like this. Because I, one night I only got like five hours of sleep and it wasn't that much. Yeah, she didn't sleep while she said. Okay, so, oh, we're going to be using, this is Color FX um, Smoothing Eye Primer. So, this is what we'll be using on her eyes. Okay, so, got the primer on her eyes. Now, let's do a transition color. Um, do you know what colors you want today? We'll... Maybe keep it simple. Maybe do like a light brown or something. Hand me the paint palette up there. No, the other one. Yes, that one. Let's see what colors. This is the one that we did with me. Oh, yeah. House. So you want to do another different one? Then? So we've, we've already done this one. So um, hand me the other paint one. Yeah. This is the one that we, I think we did that one before. So we're going to use this one. Um, I think I've done all of them before, except for my, my new Morphe Kathleen Lights. Um, it's right there. Um, what'd you do with it? We just had it. Oh, okay, yeah, that one. You want to use that one? Hand it here. We'll use that one. Now get the one that's out of the box already. There's one that's out of the box. That was the one that's out of the box. I just put it back. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, okay. This one's mine. The other one's for a giveaway. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so um, a couple weeks ago, I wasn't going to do um, a little review of this, but I guess I will. It's kind of dirty because I've used it today, so let me dust it. A um, couple weeks ago, I ordered this online and uh, got it in. I haven't really had time to play with it yet, but we're going to do it today. This is the Morphe X Kathleen Lights palette. And here, here's the box that it came in. And then on the back's her picture with a little uh, message to all her viewers. So this is pretty neat because I really like her channel and... Um, I love this this palette. It has a lot of really nice shades in it, um, all different colors. So I'm just hoping that they're pigmented, but not too pigmented. You know, I mean, these reds, if they're really pigmented big time, they won't blend well. We can use that brush. Okay, so we're gonna just use the uh, brush that came with the Tarte Paint Palette. And we're just gonna blend in a transition color. I think today we're going to be using this one right here. So let's just get started. Hopefully my mom doesn't come before your time. She won't, we'll get through in time. They have a birthday party like we said earlier. So 
her uh, mom's gonna be coming and picking them up soon. At so, 12? Yeah, at 12, but it's not 12 yet, so I turn your head this way. So we're gonna try to get this done. That's why I'm basically keeping it simple. Plus, she's gonna be with kids. You don't want um, to put a whole lot of makeup on her to be around other other kids. This is a very pretty color. Close your eyes. Keep them closed until I tell you no. Very pretty. Okay. What do you think about that? It's like a transition color. Like it? Okay, it's so. Gold, like my hair. Hand me that um, painter's bucket right there. Yeah, the whole thing. Tart. Um, the eyelash curler that I got came in that, so I use it for a brush holder. Love it. Okay, so these are a no name brand, no brand name, let me get it right, brushes that I bought from Wish. And right now I'm just going to be using just a flat, rounded shaped brush for the crease and we're going to go in with what color do you want? I like that one. Okay. So we're going to go in with this burnt orange color right here. And we're going to do that in her crease. Okay. Close your eyes. These colors blend nice. How does it feel going on? Does it feel smooth? Yeah. Those like um, the brush, but except it's actually just the cream. Yeah, but these aren't cream, they're powder. Ha! Huh? <laughs> Close your eyes. So it feels like cream. Keep your eyes closed. It just feels like a brush. It doesn't feel like anything else. Okay. The cream is dry. Okay, so apparently my battery's low, so we're gonna have to make this really, really, really quick. Um, so we've applied one eye, and now we're doing the other eye. Close it. This stuff is really pigmented quite well. Um, However, it does have a lot of fallout. So I would suggest when you do it, either taping off that area or um, maybe using a mist spray to your brush when applying it, that would keep some of that fallout down. That is a really pretty color. Okay. Look at the camera. Okay, look back at me. Let me see how that looks. Very pretty. Okay, so now for the lid, I just want to go in with just a regular applicator. And we're going to go in with this very light white right here. So we're going to apply a little bit of that to her lid. And we're going to put on a little mascara. And some oh, lipstick. Man. I don't want no scary. Close your eyes. Why not? Last time I did that, it took a week to get it out. Oh, well, we must have accidentally used the waterproof because you have to have a special cleaner. I think we did use waterproof that day because we were you were doing your cheer thing, remember? Mm -hmm. So, um, and today we won't use a waterproof one. This one will come off with just regular um, washing your face, hopefully. Uh, or your mom can use the wipes like I use and it takes it right off. If I can find it. I just used it last night. Let's see. I know. Nope, that's eyeliner. I think it's, I threw it over there, right here. Yeah, that one. Okay, so this I is. I need this one. Yeah, I have two. They come in my palettes. Yeah. This is the Tardist in black. 
mascara. This is the one that freaked me out, remember, because I had to open it that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so open your eyes. I don't like this one anyway. I don't like the applicator short and stubby. Don't look up that far. Look straight at me. The little applicator is short and stubby. It's not long enough to give you your fingers room to um, maneuver it, to turn it to the other eye. Um, when I used it yesterday, I, I, just, I like the formulation, but the packaging leaves a lot to be desired. And I think I said that in my first review of this stuff. It's just so tiny. There's nothing really to hold on to that well, and I don't like that. Um, so Tarte, you need to do better on the packaging. If anyone out there is watching that is works with Tarte, because that's not good. Okay, so now for lips, you're going to, um, let's put on a little back talk. Um, I have some neutral, more neutral colors, but I think this one would look good. together there you go. okay so what we used is uh, Urban Decay Vice in the color back talk make sure I get it right side up so that's the color we used on her today over here Liberty there you go so they can see how, do, how does it look looks good you like it mm -hmm. okay so she's all set for her party and we're gonna end this video now we will be back later on today for more um, get ready with me valentine's look and then i also have a newer light uh diva ring light along with the tripod that i got in the mail so i want to uh open that up do an unboxing with you guys so to speak and then um i have some new palettes we just tried this one the morphe uh, X Kathleen Lights palette, but I do have some other things that I want to show you guys. So there will be more videos to come. Stay tuned. Thanks guys. Love ya.